Welcome back to Cooking with Ben. Today we're making meatloaf. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make that. Woo, it's cold in here. Holy hell. Oh, crap. Okay, here's what you're gonna need for the sauce. You're gonna need brown sugar, some Worcestershire, some mustard, some sriracha or any kind of hot sauce will do, and some, some tomato ketchup. It doesn't have to be high V or high V mustard or fairway Worcestershire. And then for the meat, you're gonna need a pound and a half of hamburger, clean cut, or you can use buffalo, it's pretty healthy for you. So this is a lean meat. Some carrots, a couple of eggs, a celery stick or two, an onion, some bread, some milk, some parsley, some Cezanne Goya, some pepper, some Parmesan, and some crushed red pepper. And let's get cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and dice all this stuff up and we'll see what we have next. I forgot to mention a jalapeno. Sorry, my bad. Jalapeno as well, one whole jalapeno diced. So I cut up two slices of bread, cubed them pretty much. I could use oats and what else, but I went ahead and used bread. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour about a half a cup of milk in there. Cause I'm only using, well, I'm only using about a pound and a half. So I'm gonna pour about a, a uh, half a cup, a little over, give or take, um, of milk in there. Let that soak in. I'm gonna start putting my parsley, my pepper and all that stuff in there. So let's build it along. I'm gonna go ahead and add my half cup of milk to the bread. Let that soak for just a couple minutes. And then I'm gonna start adding my seasonings. Okay, now I'll place my ground beef in the bread that's been soaking for a couple minutes, along with my celery, onion, carrots, and jalapeno and parsley. Put that in there as well. And then I'll start seasoning up with some of the spices. Gonna put in a little red pepper, a couple Ron Jeremy shakes of that, and quite a few Ron Jeremy shakes in my Parmesan, Parmesan. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my egg that I beat. I did beat three eggs, not myself, the eggs. So I'm putting that in there right now. Please be quiet, dogs. I'm in a cooking show. Then I'm gonna go ahead and crack open my Cezanne and Goya and put that in there as well. Oh yeah. Woo! Get that in there. Just a small amount of some Lowry's. And now my hands get nice and messy because I combine the ingredients. Woo! Oh yeah. So I'll be doing this for quite some time. Quite some time. See you guys in a little bit. And this is what your meatloaf should look like. I got it on a broiling rack with some aluminum foil to save dish time. Plus all the fat can drain onto that as well. And I got another little thing underneath it to catch the fat so it doesn't get in my oven. That's my loaf. God, it looks beautiful. Let's get cooking with the wet sauce now. The meatloaf sauce, let's do that. So I've got all my sugar, mustard, and ketchup, and Worcestershire in this. And my oven is preheated to 350 degree degrees. 50, 50 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all around, get a good mixture, and pour three fourths of this on top of my meatloaf. Yeah. This is my meatloaf sauce. Woo! All right, so I'm just gonna pour just a, about one third or so over this. Oh yeah, smear that around with a little bit of a spatula. Oh, that is like loaf heaven right there. And remember, you can't have any pudding unless you eat your meat. Because how can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? All right, so then I got the oven on, like I said, on 350. 
and I'm going to bake it for 45 minutes and take it back out and baste it again. Let's pop her in the oven, folks. Okay, potato. I'm making potatoes too and everything, so just ignore that. I'm just making the meatloaf dinner. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw my meatloaf in. 45 minutes on 350. Perfect. Timer. Let's do that for 45 minutes. Uh, if you're not gone too far, I'm gonna just set it for 48. Since I open up the the door, I give it a few extra minutes and stuff. Heat. Some of the heat came out, so it's really not going around at 350. I'm sure it's not going around at like a 340 or something. All right, 45 minutes, 48 minutes. See you guys in 48 minutes. Okay, so that is four. That is what 48, 50 minutes in the oven. That's what I've got right now. Put the remaining of this sauce on top of this and bake it for another 30 minutes. Oh yeah, watch me baste this baby. So this is going to be the remaining coat of the baste. And that is it. Spread that around again. Now you can wrap this with bacon and everything else too. That'd be really good as well. I think Reed Drummond has a recipe like that. But that is my basting right there. So I'm going to go ahead and baste that up. Ooh, look at all that fat down there. It's all dripping away. Another 45, or no, sorry, take it back. Another 25 to 30 minutes of this cooking. So I'm gonna pop it back into my 350 degree oven and let it cook a little bit longer. And then once it's done, I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and I've got my potatoes boiling and everything else. I'm good to go. Oh yeah, meatloaf, here I come. Okay, so as I wait my side dishes, Actually, I wait. My meatloaf's got another 23 minutes now that I got it in there. Here's my side dishes. Garlic red mashed potatoes with a little bit of seasoning in there. Pepper, a little bit of salt. I'm a big salt guy. And I've got my potato or my veggies over here. Cooking in some water. So yeah, so as soon as my uh, meatloaf's done, I will serve myself up the meatloaf with the garlic potatoes and the veggies. And I will have my supper for Thursday of March 5th, 2015. Alrighty, my meatloaf is done. A second basting. Four out of here. Woo! 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 That's smelling divine! Oh, goodness! Now let it rest 10 minutes. Cutting time. I don't have my tire on. Really, yeah, it'll be late. Oh. Very tasty. Very good. Mmm. Mmm. Alright. That's my meatloaf. Oh, awesome. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.